I don't think you want to gnaw on that to cut that. You ain't gonna be able to gnaw on that. So you, to cut this, you definitely have you some uh, heavier knife for all type of reasons. You know what I'm saying? So this is a Gerber. It's one of my good ones here. I like this. So. This is an axe. That's for bigger, uh, bigger jobs. If you're out in the woods, you gotta start a fire. Yeah, you gotta chop that, chop some wood, you know what I mean? Even though you could break it with your hand, uh, you may want, you know, to, to have a good fire. You know what I mean? I, I would use this. A lot of guys, you may see a lot of guys on YouTube just using a knife. I'd rather use an axe. So this is a real small axe, it's light. It don't weigh nothing. You know, if you want, you could just use a knife, but uh, I use I use both. Now, rope. You may say, well, what do you need a rope for? I don't know. I just keep it on hand. Uh, I could think of a lot of reasons. I just keep rope on hand. You know what I mean? I keep it on the carabiner, and I string this on the outside of my bag. Put it in or out, it don't matter. You know? Like I said, I've gotten to a lot of situations just on my job and certain things I keep in my my bug out bag, you know, based off of my experience of just working every day. You know what I'm saying? And in an emergency situation, when stuff happened out here in America that never happened before, you wanna have uh everything that you could possibly bring, you know, weight wise of course, but the, the real important things, you know what I'm saying? So, this is just another tool. If you didn't want to bring an axe or nothing, this is just a uh, saw, you know what I mean? Gerber saw. You could just cut saw uh, wood with it, you know what I mean? So that's about it. And all this is really, man, it's just ins it's, a, it's another form of insurance. You know what I mean? So when people say you don't have to have this type of stuff, uh, tell them, okay, well, why do you why do you carry a spare tire in the trunk of your car then? Oh, it's about faith. Okay, since, since it's about faith, you don't think you're supposed to have none of this stuff, and it's carnal to have it, it's carnal to have a spare tire in your trunk, too, since it's about faith. Take the spare tire out of the trunk of your car, take the jack out, and take your insurance off. Since nothing's going to happen to you since you... you these guys think since you are Israelite, nothing's gonna happen to you. Okay, since nothing's gonna happen to you, take the insurance off your car, take the jack out of your car, take the spare tire out of your car. Since nothing's gonna happen, right? You pay insurance on that car, right? So what you see in here, this is just another form of insurance that will help you out in in days to come. You know what I mean? You pay homeowners insurance. You pay all kind of insurance and nothing happens. Sometimes they do. But have this type of insurance because this is the only insurance that's going to help you when all hell breaks loose. Car insurance can help everything you've been paid throughout your whole life. None of that's going to help what you see before you. This is the only thing that's going to help you. If, if anything. This along with having faith with the Most High. And that's all you need. You know what I mean? So... That'd be that, and I think that concludes the basics of, of uh, what you need to put in your bug out bag. But like I said, I will be bringing the video on my EDC bag. I think I'm waiting for one more item to come in. Uh, a, a new item that I may be carrying in that bag. But uh, in me, I always have a bag. I'm never without a bag. If you see me in my car, I got a bag on me. <laughs> Not a big bag, you, you know, I just I always have something though. Cause I'm a man, you know, I make sure I'm prepared. I walk in preparedness every day, point blank period. You know, I don't walk in carelessness. You know, a lot of it got to do with my job, but you know, that's that's how I live my life. I stay prepared, you know. Uh, I'm not I'm not a sitting duck for nobody or no situation that I can help. So, uh, I hope this helped, hope this series helped a lot of you guys to be able to start uh, preparing. The, the basics and with that I say shalom